everyone, welcome back to the stream. I'm back with Silent Hill 3 on hard mode. We've made it to the, I think, halfway point. It's gonna get probably worse from here. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking forward to going to uh, Brookhaven. <sighs> oh hey, Axton, how's it going? <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm glad he's, he's he's maxed out his charm, so now he doesn't have to bathe. Awesome, awesome. Where are you near the end of the game? Do you know if you're near the end? Hey, Kari! How's it going? Oh, okay, then you're nowhere close to being done. I swear that game is so long. <laughs> it was It's almost as long as uh, Last of Us 2, and I'm like, when is this gonna end? <laughs> I think, um... I think I maxed everything out on Joker when I played it. He also had... He was also in a relationship with everyone. So that was kind of funny. Alrighty. Let's get the uh, sad scene out of the way. Yeah, I was just like, I did it. I, um, so I think I, I dated Anne, is that her name? Anne first. And then I was given an option to like court someone else. I'm like, is the game really going to let me? Let me date another person at the same time? And I'm like, okay. And I did it. And I'm like, oh. All right, so just every time someone wanted to be my girlfriend or whatever, I was just like, okay, sure. <sighs> and then, uh, yeah. And Joker suffered some consequ consequences because of it. Uh, where's my house? Is it this way? Oh, it must be the lit, lit one. Oh, guys, I don't want to go in here. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? No. Man, it still pisses me off. He brought down a god and he dies in his lazy boy in front of the TV. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> there is no limit. It's just a notepad file. No. No. It's James. They use the same model from Silent Hill 2 of the guy dead in the chair. No. Really? I'm trying to think, what's what was my first? Uh, well, no, there's. Didn't someone die in Final Fantasy VI? No, before that. Chrono Trigger, he died at w in one of the endings. Okay, yeah, lots of people have died. <laughs> now I think about it. The one that stood out the most, I know it's lame to say, but it was, it was Aerith. Because I was like, why can't we use a phoenix down? Come on, people. Did you do this? I've never been seen talking about uh, video game deaths. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this. Well, we're gonna probably die like ninety times before we do that, but we'll get you for this. Must 
try to remember me, and your true self as well. You will birth a god, and build an eternal paradise. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Okay, bye, Claudia. Man, the calluses on her feet must be huge. Might help if I run. I, I don't know why I wasn't running. All right, what? Oh, I have my hand cut off. Okay, I'm gonna try shooting him with my handgun. Don't forget, is there a quick turn in this game? Oh, uh oh, this is bad. He's blocking. Oh no, it's like George and Deadly Premonition. I hate that. Oops. Oh, L1 and R1? Oh, thank you. Cool. Oh, oops. That's not, it's not the run button. Really. Okay. Oh, I need to get to his back end. Probably gonna die, guys. Big surprise there. Ooh, I should do the side strafe. Okay, good idea. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot to do a quick save. Never mind. Did you do this? I wish I could see. She doesn't move very fast strafing, though. Okay. Come on, do a roll like Leon. I got him once. I wish you could run and reload at the same time. Oh, really? Oh, okay. She does move a little bit faster. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You really need to use all the moves when you play on hard. Oh, whoops. Okay. 
you just like stand in one spot and taunt me for a little bit? That'd be very helpful. That's what all the cool bad guys do. Okay. I give up. Actually, I will give up. <laughs> what am I saying? I gave up on Sentinel too. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't give up on this. I think I think I could do it. It seems doable. I just need to get better at strafing and other stuff. Plus, I I also have the the special weapons I can fall back on if I really, 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 really have to. So there's options. Okay. So I can. There we go. Okay, that's. Nope. Oh, did she run out of bullets? Shoot. No, she didn't. Okay. I don't want to use up my first aid kits. Ugh. I wonder if I should. Try to use the shotgun. If I can get a good shot off, that'll probably take off more than the handgun. Let's see. I'll probably die, but. Well, yeah, I gotta hit him in the back, so. Just gotta. Yes, got him! So I think my best strategy here is kind of to try to keep close to him and then move quickly, move out of the way when he does that thing. Kick him, Heather! Yeah! I think that strategy will work. Um, I was getting some good shots in there, so... All right, we can do it, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Just gotta believe. Okay, Claudia's a bitch, let's go. All right, <clears throat> oh, might help the fight. Put my shotgun. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I sh Do you think I should put on my, my bulletproof vest? That would make her super slow, though. Mm, I'll just keep it off. Give me this fight. I think I'd hit it? Alright, I'll only put it on. Let's see how slow I am with it. If it's too much of a hindrance, then I'll just take it off. I just need every little defense I can take. take. Oh, she's definitely slower. Where'd you go, bro? Oh! Okay. So instead of kicking him while he's down, I'm just gonna shoot him. Oh, I forgot to hit the death count. Okay, so it's two, right?
I'm just not very successful at doing it because it seems to be a time thing. It sure is, isn't it? Uh, oh, that was that was a cheap shot, Mr. Mr. Killer, sir. Or missionaries were not very nice, I gotta say. He's not making me want to join his division. Oh, I need to be low, wasteful. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't have any brochures, but uh, I can kill someone for you. Did you have to resort to using melee weapons?
camera! Oh, don't do that to me, please. <laughs> Make myself sick. Hello! <laughs> Oops. Stop moving there. I just try and keep him in frame. It's just so widely. Wildly. He needs to like stay still just a little bit longer. Okay, instead of just keeping with the shotgun. Okay, I guess I could try that. Like, switch between the two guns. Because the shotgun does put him down in, like, one shot. And I think I have better aim with the handgun when he's on the ground. Pretty well, right? I'm not like this is not tyrant on a plane level of <laughs> annoyance or filler fight annoyance. We're getting through it pretty well. But I just want to see if I can, I can hit him on the ground. Okay, no, well, watch his attack, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go back to the, the guns. Turned around, you're not allowed to do that. I was just thinking because the, the mall is so um, powerful, that might have been a good um, thing just to try. automatically reload like Yuri does. Oops. Good evening. How's it going? Oh man. I'm getting a bit further in the fight, so that's good.
thank you for the raid. Yeah, she has a garden anime on her side. That katana and that outfit. Whoa! Wow, Axton! Thank you so much! <laughs> so many! Biden bucks too. <laughs> that was very sweet of you to donate uh, some of your Biden bucks to me. It will go to a good cause because whenever I get a payout, I always put it to the, the extra life. Oh, I just noticed my mic is hella far away. I pushed it out of the way. Oops. Oh, it's falling off the shelf. Hold on a sec, guys. I gotta fix my mic. There we go. Let's tighten that up. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I, pull, I guess I pulled my mic too far one way. It started to fall off of my desk. Oh, shoot. Oh, it looks like it did hit him still. Oh, it just didn't go down. Remember, do he'll he'll die without kicking him, right? Like I don't have to go up to kick him at least once. He'll be able just to die from the bullet shots. Okay. I was just wondering. Miss Heather, he was two inches away from you. strategy of doing circles. Woo! That kind of worked. Oh, I know I have a lot of uh, viewers tonight. Thank you so much for joining me with my uh, stream. I stream most uh, most days in the week, Monday through Thursday, and I mainly stream horror games, and I'm trying to raise money for Extra Life right now. So 
So any donation, big or small, is greatly appreciated. So if you're enjoying the stream, please donate. And help some uh, deserving kids. Heather's gonna need some help. <laughs> medical help here soon. Am I in the red? Yeah, I'm in the red. Oh, I really didn't want to have to use my med kit. I'll, I'll, I'll find some more in the hospital. Okay. Waste my bullet? No. <sighs> she looks amazing. Thank <laughs> you. 
keep end up trying to shoot by holding down R, um, R2 and then clicking on L1. <laughs> I mean, R L2. It's, it's not how you shoot in this game. Too bad, right? I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already. Calm down. I just you feel better? I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. <clears throat> Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. Find her. I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you gonna get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Okay, let's check out the digs here. Dad's bookshelf. There's nothing unusual about it. Got a VCR. Okay. Well, what kind of movies does he have, Heather? Yeah. I'll find that woman and make her pay. I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. Probably. He probably would. Oh, I can't go over there. I'll be back 
Dad, I promise I'll come home soon. I wonder how she explains this to the police. Yeah, this woman from Silent Hill, um, she sent one of her missionaries to kill him. Uh, I think it's just scrapes on the floor. Man, Harry, I think you need to clean your bathroom just a little bit. Yeah, they said at the end of the game, she says, I'm going to go by my real name uh, from now on. My daddy call, uh, named me. Oh, whoops. I want to look at the chair. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Well, to be fair, it looks like they caught him off guard. Just the regular TV, there's nothing different about it. I like this little cat. Heather, you need to clean your bathroom too. always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always liked that line, but now it just seems stupid. I like the uh, picture of the panda and moon here. I like that picture <laughs> right between the the cat panda thing and the, the second second from the right. What does that do? He has a huge chin. <clears throat> Don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it now, right now. anybody, not the police or the church. Is the line cut or are you in the other world? I could have sworn there was something else. Just as usual, detective novels. My dad loved them. Isn't there like another book or something I could... Oh, 
I guess not. All right, let's go. Oh, that's my bedroom. met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Exposition time. The rain effect on the window. What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now. You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work, you hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. Wrong. Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. How do you how do you know about hangovers, Maybe young lady? No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. It's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You see. That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. Father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. Well, in its defense, it was premature. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And 
I've been chosen as the sacrifice. <clears throat> You've got some kind of power in you too. <laughs> After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. This is shame Douglas got like no screen time in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was all given to Vincent. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to, to tell you tell you how happy you made me. Oh. I think he knew. It's a really good song. Yeah, the Vincent romance came out of nowhere. Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Well, why, why don't you just come with me to the hospital? I, I can use Mecca. Right? I'm on hard mode. Yeah. Gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I've never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke on. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. I'm still bummed we're not in, like, the part of Silent Hill that Harry explored. point in turning on the TV, all I could watch is snow anyway. Yeah, also, you know, running out of time and whatnot, but still, it would have been nice to, to see, like, Alcamilla, Coon Street, uh, Green Line Antiques, stuff like that. Now, if I remember correctly, I told Axton when he was at this part, there's no items on the street. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go straight to uh, Heaven's Night. Oops.
know, that'd be a cool sign to have. Like a, a fluorescent sign that says Heaven's Night or something. That'd be a cool little Silent Hill theme collectible. Or that one, I guess. Ooh, or that kiss sign. I like that kiss sign. It's tourism pal pam wow, can't read. Pamphlet. I had forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. It's the same pamphlet you can find in Silent Hill too. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint, quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last for forever. Editor Roger Redmark. Well, the memories will last forever, but I don't think I'll, I'll be... It'll be pleasant. Oh, butter cakes. So if I had a <clears throat> a game save, is it? Yeah, it's not here. Oh, maybe it's over there. Oh. Nope, that's the light. So if I had a um, a Silent Hill two uh, PS two game save, um, there would have been a flyer here that said uh, Lady Maria. And uh, the time she would have been on. Yeah. Is there anything this way? No. This cookie and it's like a little happy face too I never noticed that before okay C is for cookie Haven Hospital. Right out of the gate, they are here. Let's put on Shinkai. Let's see if I can stun her. Oh, that worked. That used up all the battery? Yes. <laughs> Here, no. 
Oh, here's a map. This day, this day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you, here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now, I know. You're, I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And I ha- <clears throat> And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Actually, I'm looking for Leonard. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. She's just not that into you, buddy. Sorry. Brought a gun to the pipe battle. That's not fair. <laughs> anyway, this is not. <laughs> Where I thought I was going. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I guess I should heal. I wanted to check the other. Oops. There's a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only, do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. It 
a medical record or something, it's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12, presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observation. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> Basically, calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Oh, it's your lover. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents use caution. Oh, oops. Nothing of interest. Drawers filled with papers, but they don't seem to have any useful information. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it, none of it really matters to me. Oh, I thought... I, maybe I'm confusing this with Sonal too. I thought there was a code in here. Yeah, <laughs> Stanley writing on Leonard's back. That would be quite a sight to see. Oh, the elevator does work. Oh fuck! Oh my god! That was bad room! Bad room! Turn! Oh! Ampule! Not a bad room. organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you, with that junk those nasty winches won't stop using? If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Uh, maybe she's just not into dolls. Okay. Cookie, toothbrush, spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why did they do this in the first place? Oh, there's a key. Okay, I need the nail polish remover, if I remember correctly. Alright. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. I was about to leave, but then I'm like, oh, wait, I see something. <sighs> Let's do a quick save. Just in case I die on the second floor. Nurses up here? Huh, I guess they disappeared because I read the note, maybe? Okay. Jack and a puppy! And farm. Oh, I forgot what it was. Farm something. Trying to remember what that was. Farm. It's too small. It's like a weird magazine to find there. I remember that much. Disappeared. Oh, hold on a second. Let me reload. I forgot if you don't read them right away, they disappear. Hey, Fred Fraud! Yeah, some of those deaths were just really stupid insta deaths. <laughs> like falling off the edge of something. And then last night was kind of rough in the um, first bit of the sewers. Okay, let's go ahead and read Stanley's note. Okay. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you. Heather Stanley Coleman. Okay, let's go get the nail polish. <laughs> okay. So I think those were all locked except.
There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's it supposed to mean? Pure eyes, blue like a glassy bead. You are always looking at me, and I am always looking at you. Ah, uh, you're too meek, beautiful, unspoiled, thus I'm so sad. I suffer, and so happy it hurts. I want to hurt you and destroy myself. What would you think if you knew how I felt? Would you simply smile, not saying a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. I place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss. Then I suddenly shove my thumb. This is this is not a very nice uh, love letter. <laughs> then I suddenly sho shove my thumb deep into your eye socket, abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. And what would it feel like? Like jelly? Trembling with ecstasy, I obscenely mix it around and around. I must taste taste the warmth of your blood how would you scream would you shriek it hurts it hurts as the cinnabar red tears stream from your crushed eye you can't know the maddening hunger I felt in the midst of our kisses so many of them I've lost count as though drinking in your cries I bring my hopes to fruition biting your tongue shredding it biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick Oh, what euphoric heights I would reach, having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous cur. I longed, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed, and I would cry like a child. And how is your tender ear? It brushes against my cheek. I want it to creep up to my lips so I can sink my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear, always hearing words, whispered, sweet as pie. I want it to hear my true feelings. I never lied, no, but I did have my secrets. Ah, uh, but what must you think of me? Do you hate me? Are you afraid? As though inviting you to the agony at the play's end. If you wish, you could destroy me. I wouldn't care. And you wish you may destroy me. I, As you wish you may destroy me, I wouldn't care. Oh, okay, is this a clue for the the door? Oh wow, that is that is a lot different than um normal mode. Okay, uh, let me look at the skin. Where's my post-its? There we go. Okay. Pure eyes, blue like glassy beat. You always look at me, I always looking at you. Are you too meek, beautiful suffer? Uh, I want to hurt you and destroy myself. What would you think if you knew how I felt? You simply smile, not saying a word, even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. Okay, we got a left hand. your face shove my thumb deep into your eye socket eye socket okay. uh, see mix around I must taste some of your blood how'd you scream would you shriek it hurts it hurts We got biting tongue. So L, left ear. Okay, let's see 
and I suck it tongue cheek. Oh, uh, was it Void Burger? I know she did a bunch of these uh, puzzle videos. And she did a, a wonderful Let's Play. Okay. So, eye socket, tongue, cheek. So, would I put eyes? Like, one, three, tongue, Oh wait, oops. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Left ear is the last one. looking at me. I'm always looking at you. Place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss. So I, I've been doing like the one because it's a left number so I assume that was first one biting your tongue shredding it biting your lips so maybe I'm supposed to hit the middle button and not the bottom button for that It's not eight, I guess. Um, cheek, it didn't say which side, so I'm gonna say Huh. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe I should look this up. What am I missing? Okay, I had the right idea. Oh, the cheek is that. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Okay, I, I did have the right idea. I just was thinking cheek was still in the middle. Okay, okay, okay. So we got, um, I, um, twins. mouth is still eight. Um, cheek. I'm gonna say nine, and then left ear. Okay, that didn't work. Try, oh, maybe I have to do both cheeks. Okay, 
So, left eye. Okay, whatever, it is four, eight, uh, four, eight, nine, six. Huh, we gotta look at this a little bit closer later. Hmm. Okay. with the gun. Oh, hey, Val Valtiel. to do a quick save. I know, how rude. again four eight nine six I forgot my health. I forgot my health was really low. <laughs> okay. Let me use a health drink so maybe I won't die from being touched.
The start time is my key. Okay. Uh, there's a medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background. Unknown. Name, age, unknown. Not admitted patient found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to uh, severed carota artery. Was grasping at own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was the cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or cooperation of event from patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police, however, for future necessity. Leave victim's bed and effects intact room M4. All right, bye, fraud fraud. Have a good day at work today. Oh, how dare you shoot me! There's a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. Hmm. I didn't mean to... Please look at the clock. Okay, so four Yes, that is an it. Can I not read the clock? Yeah, that's four. Um. The start time is my key. Is it supposed to, is it gonna get me in military? So 
12, 13, 16, 29. There we go. <laughs> oh, Kari, I didn't even see your message. Oh, no! Is there... Ooh, there's first aid kit. First aid kits! There's more than one! Get out of here, Heather. We can do it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Whew. That's my health. Pretty bad. I know, it's like, ugh. There's lots of nurses, but I need the health. You lose more health trying to get the health item. <laughs> what? They're right here too? That's not fair. Let's go get that key. Someone didn't have a nice time. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too.
It's all just junk. I don't think there's anything important here. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continuing on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Okay, so... Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. Yeah. I was just gonna make a joke about Pyramid Head being up here and said there's these guys. Okay. I guess there's nothing up here? Oh, that's not what's up here? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All the way here. Gotta remember to do a quick save once I get the code. I was hoping there would be some sort of health item up there, but it doesn't look like that is the case. Okay, it's the same number.
punishment for brutally, uh, sorry, punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would, would have been better off if she had been fired. So there's a nurse in one of these. I think it's that one. Flowing freely, your ebony hair, like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well, I shouldn't have to let this place get to me, should never have gotten crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give it what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Yeah, nobody. I guess I should put the nurse out of her misery. Magazine. This has a. Uh, this is the one with the Maria's face on it. In the top uh, right corner. Maybe you can see it in the close-up. It is a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in, the, in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Uh, but at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith Temp who lives near Hope House has this to say, sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell, me, tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. 
It is a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph, Joseph Scriber. Yeah, so there's our connection to Silent Hill 4, though they, uh, they changed the name of the orphanage to um, Wish House. <sighs> so yeah, there's the magazine with Maria's face on it. quiet in this hallway. <laughs> Uh-oh, someone's mad. The doll is all torn apart. It really, it's really pretty sad to look at. Oh, I wonder who did it anyway. Okay. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love that she did not give. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. Ugh. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I have been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... nothing. Maybe Leonard did that. Oh, and I got a donation. Th oh my god <laughs> thank you anonymous that's so that's so generous thank you i'm glad you're enjoying the um sound hill let's play oh insomniosis thank you for the raid wow guys you're so generous thank you <sighs> oh i should probably save it Oh, I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. There's a, oh no! Oh my God, where did you guys come from? Oh my God, where are you hiding? Were you hiding in a room? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I'm in the right room. Oh my god, wait. Hey, Rad, how's it going? Oh, and, and thank you for the follow. <laughs> I, I choose to believe that they are hiding in a room waiting for me to pop out again. Like, shh, shh, we're gonna, we're gonna get her, we're gonna get her. Let's hide in here. <laughs> you know, I don't, Hello? I don't think so. No, I think it's just a cosmetic, don't but I'm not me, sure. Claudia. You are always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my 
Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? I'm doing all right. How is it going? I, uh... Been having uh, fun reading uh, the creepy little love notes left by Stanley. Um, getting my ass beat by some nurses, but still trucking along. We're making lots of good progress, thankfully. Without turning off the light now will help me. But push through, Heather. Okay, I need to go second floor, right? Excuse me. the hall, second floor. We're gonna say, hey Leonard, what's up? Can I please have your seal that does nothing? Hey ladies! Alright, this is safe. This wasn't here last time. It appeared. <laughs> yeah, you said you lost your voice? <laughs> you must have been really raging at the <laughs> at the game. Oh, we get to hear Lisa, because I'm on the PS2 version. Allergies really suck. Can these gates like close on your head in hard mode <laughs> and kill you instantly? Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, that's where it came from. Oh wait, maybe the door opens? I need to run towards it? He's like, no, you better fucking save. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. Lisa. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't make her head hurt. No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly towards me in that heaven- uh, well, blah blah blah, I can't read. Who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. So let's do a <laughs> yep. <laughs> Other world hospital time. Hey, Batiel. Turn is in valves. Oh. This says wonderful. Oh, I think it's like, oh, what a wonderful world. Is it supposed to say? Hey, Fukuro. How you doing? So one, one part of this hallway, when I streamed it last time, it made my computer chug. <laughs> I was like, wait, this is a PS2 game that shouldn't be happening. And you better not knock me down into that hole. I'm gonna be mad. Chugging time. My GPU is at 100%. Jesus Christ. We're gonna put this in software mode. <laughs> and suddenly it went down to 15. I think the texture's on the wall. Okay. Come on, guys. Give me a second to get up and get my bearings. Thank you. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Shut all the doors. Oops. 
she stands up again. I wish I could tell what's a door. This little box, so it's not covering my chat. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Well, to put it into perspective, like I was playing Resident Evil, and it—I think it only got to like a hundred percent during that plain part. Like when I'm playing Dead by Daylight, I think it gets up to 40. This time I'll do the quick save closer to the door. This um, other world's hospital and then the couple rooms in the church are really hard to navigate because you can't tell what a door is. Oh, hello. isn't too bad. I think we might at least get through the hospital tonight. I'll stay up um, and uh, try to get through it. Am I going backwards? Oh. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full out bloodletting. Oh, we need a bag, right? Okay, good night, Axton. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope your stream goes well tomorrow.
I doubt I need to check this out. I'd like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Really? What? Why were they thinking it was Kaufman? Like the blood and stuff, it reminds me of like maybe you're supposed to be in utero or something. Like the birth connection. Oh, is this the mirror room? I forgot to save. Spooky. Let's actually put this so we can get it in glorious. Creepiness. Oh no, it's coming out in the real world. Okay, I guess we better leave. Uh, when I stop moving, is that when I'm able to open the door? normal hallway. I can keep it like this for a little bit. Let's see. Oh, we should try. That's blocked off. I forgot what floor I was on. Was that the third floor? I guess go second. Message. I like this part too. The hospital has a lot of cool scares within the level itself. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> But don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. All right, let's go get our present. Nothing special in here. <laughs> yeah, where's my cake? I don't know if I want a cake from <clears throat> the other world, so I mean, Yeah, she's very popular right now. Very popular. All the guy with all the guys calling her. Stupid slurper thing. I hate you guys so much. Okay, I eventually killed her. Bag. Oh, there's a magazine too. Health drink. Nice. And it says, looks like this is like red or something. Looks like it's a, a girly mag. <clears throat> there's something important in the trash. No use sticking around in there anymore. Oh, look at that. Hey, Bat Tail, what's up? You just hanging out? You working out? You, you need some help? <laughs> Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. We're like all up on it. There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. Yeah, every time that happens, that's, the, that's what goes through my mind. She's just like, ugh. This is my life now. Wait, ooh, I think we got a better view of it. Red, oh, two, oh, whatever. Anyway, there's a magazine in there. We got a bag, so now we can get blood. Where was the blood? Examining room four? I think that's where it was. Oh, you little faker. Hey, you were down for the count. You work. Down now. If 
I ever unlocked the health bar? No, I have not. How do you unlock the health bar? You have to be down like stream mode or whatever? Thank you for hanging out. You have to beat the game to unlock the on-screen health bar. It's toggled on the extra min- Oh, really? Alright. Display mode, sharp. Wait, extra, do I have to hit another button? Huh, do you know if I have to hit a special combination to get a different I do appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, we got to get a present too. That's in this. Hallway is it? No, it's, I think it's in this hallway. Because I remember the happy birthday message in the hallway. I could barely run in. Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. It's probably on the second floor. I 
I think when I I was replaying when I was practicing this game um, a couple years ago for the, the charity stream, I completely missed the happy birthday um, room to go get my present. I was like, oh man, I forgot about that. I just sort of just running through the hallways. Oh no, that's the phone. So... I don't know why, but this, this glass room is really creepy. everywhere. It's very iconic. <laughs> I like to think it's Lisa, even, even though Ito said it wasn't, but I still think it's cool. Mm, I guess we'll go to one. And I'll say hey to the bodies. <sighs> hey to the Borg. Some, oh, there's a hallway that way, that's why. Where are you? Search the first floor. Oh, I think that's where I get the, uh, the more key opens that. Almost, almost went down there. <laughs> oh, what was that noise? That was creepy. Does it happen again? Okay, there's nothing in this room. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the same nurse that took care of uh, Mary and Laura. 
because uh, Laura's Laura said don't tell Rachel about the letter or whatever I don't know when she was talking to James so people were like oh that must be who was taking care of them because they're like who's Rachel okay uh, oh I missed the door The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I will sacrifice myself to the blood of cr criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? Oh, I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones. But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah. You have. Hello, nurse. Can I kill her through the fence? Oh, yeah, I can. Though. <laughs> All right, let's go to the basement. I think that's where I have to go next. Wait, does this work? I'm in the morgue. Let's go say hi to our uh, our boyfriend. Where are you, Stanley? Is that a seven or two? Oh, here's seven. Hi. Did you hear him breathing? I, I didn't hear him. Maybe you have to read the note. There's a memo here. Let's see. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What a cruel linnet wants, he gets. Hold on, let me turn the game up a little bit. I don't hear him. Did he breathe? No? Mm, okay. The black rook is the praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. 
No, it's just the weird breathing, like choking breathing. <laughs> You're supposed to hear. I'm wondering if it's... Huh, I'm just surprised it didn't trigger. Maybe I have to do something else. What am I here? Let's see. The wren, with its pure heart as yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lip smacking. But still, we all know he shall never grow old. He knows not how much he is lacking. <sighs> okay. These are all for the... The burned one who knows no death, pure and adored by those above, no prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavenly body of his, make it wind dancing in the sky. That bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips, now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. For bodies return to ashes. Thus the door is open. Thus the door is open. Okay. So I guess I need to just figure out, based on each of their little notes. <clears throat> Pining Hunter. Hunter. Flames longing for his rebirth. Just some breath within the earth. Oh, you haven't heard them whisper? I've heard them, but it just see it just sounds like I just hear it receiver, receiver. Um, honestly guys, I do not feel like solving this puzzle, so I'm gonna look it up. It seems very complicated. Oh my god, that looks complicated. Sparrow, oh. Uh... 
Just give me the numbers. Okay, 9271. Really? Okay. Maybe I have to get the key. Turned all the way up. Huh. Maybe you have to leave and come back? Oh, what happened to my sound? Oops. There we go. <laughs> I actually switched my uh, audio device. No, I don't remember having to do that. You guys me to leave. Oh. Well. I thought I heard something. Oh. You know what? Maybe it's because I, I, I didn't read one of the notes. Maybe that's it. I think the note in the hallway, I didn't actually read it. She just kept commenting on the doll. <clears throat> Alright. So we got a key. I think that was the second floor. Oops, that's the first floor. 
Oh, whoops. birthday presents? Well, I guess I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Besides, if I didn't really need this stuff right now, he wouldn't have given it to me. That weirdo, I mean. There's something on the ground. Is this a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. Oh, we don't even get a close-up of the card? That was nice of the weirdo to give us a birthday present. Okay. Yeah, they do sound a little bit like Heather, don't they? <coughs> Alright, let's go back into the hall that makes my computer chug if it's on a uh, hardware mode.
gonna fight Leonard. Didn't realize it was over that soon. Oh wait, I should save it after I you look at all the junk. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual, usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort. Lick candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture or something in that picture? What is a picture of? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a cup or stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This is... This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to particip participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Okay, let's go put the blood on the table. <laughs> I didn't read this before. I don't especially want to carry it around with me. <laughs> this is a cool, like, transition. Okay, now I'll save my game. Let's see if I can defeat Leonard. I have a feeling I'll probably be dying a lot. Welcome back. I should probably do I have any shotgun shells? I do. Nice. Oh, oops. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna need it. That's good. <laughs> Ugh. God, that water must be gross. One must be chosen. Only we who hearken. 
hearken to the voice of God. We'll be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so? Go ahead and tell him he's not normal. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal <laughs> thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! by God to be its guardian. The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. I don't want your seal, buddy. Yes, they are. Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Okay. Uh, maybe we should take off. it on. Man, she's moving really slow in this water. It's not that tough. <laughs> Does it even get harder?
Some, oh, I didn't. I guess I didn't pick up any of those bullets. Let's use. That was uh, cutting off on me because I have the performance thing open. They can kill me? Oh, well, let's not. Let's test it. Ah! Yep. I'm not counting that because I did that on purpose. weapon. Uh, let's try one of my melee weapons. Let's try this guy. I wonder if it's possible, could you? Leonard, 
Let me push you in the boot thing. Both of them. Okay, I'm reloading. <sighs> Man, you're right. This fight is tedious. And it's not particularly hard. through this disgusting water. Can you just pop out and stay out from me, please? Yeah. Almost done too, just as soon as I finish this fight. <laughs> I don't have to aim for a specific area.
distance. Die already. <sighs> Not me, I wanted him to die. Imagine speedrunning this part of Silent Hill 3 must suck. Safe state, he said I am.
I knew the fight was gonna take this long. <laughs> but I went to bed. Oh! Fucking finally! Jesus Christ! That took forever. Bye, Leonard. Yay! <sighs> Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. <sighs> I hope Douglas is okay. He's fine. What's this? <laughs> yeah, ugh. It's a good thing she's going back to the motel. The seal that does nothing. Hoorah. Oh, I want to save my game. Like, where's the safe spot? <laughs> it's behind me. <laughs> All right. Well, that should do it for tonight. Tomorrow, I will continue. And we'll hopefully get through the theme park. Should be fun. What if it, instead of the talisman, you get a little figure of the seal? Of the seal. <laughs> yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. I'll speak to you all again real soon. This should be up on the YouTube channel within the next couple hours.